Are you ready for your property photo shoot? Well, I'm gonna give you a few tips in this video on how to prepare your house for the photo shoot to get the best images, videos, and drone photography. Probably the very first thing you should do before you even put a date on the calendar is check the weather. <laughs> So make sure it's not raining or snowing outside. Uh, we just can't make the surfaces look great, even with some of our photo editing when the, the street's wet and we can put, you know, Photoshop, beautiful sun in the sky. Um, and in my area, we have June gloom and May gray. And actually those are great times to videotape a property when it's overcast because we don't get any shadows. So don't be afraid of overcast, but if it is raining or snowing, even wind's not great, but we can work with it. But make sure when we schedule that photo shoot that we have a great day to photo shoot, okay? Meaning no bad weather. Second most important thing is check when it's trash day. We take a lot of images. So, you know, we do drone images, we do neighborhood shots. So we don't wanna have a bunch of trash cans that clutter the streets, just doesn't look great. And uh, it just, I don't know, just kind of devalues the community in my opinion. Now I've been doing this for years and I think I know when all the, the, the trash days are, but double check because sometimes they move or sometimes it's a holiday and it gets bumped back a day. But do not, I'm warning you, do not take photos during trash day. <gasps> Photos do not turn out great. If you want to stress your photographer out, <laughs> just make sure there's a couple bulbs that are out in the property. They're, they have an absolute panic attack when they see light bulbs <laughs> that are out, of, out in the property. It does something with the lighting or whatever. So you must make sure that you have all your light bulbs working. And when we show up to the property, every single light bulb on the property should be operational and turned on. Even the one on the oven, the cooktop, you need to turn that little guy on too. Every light in the property on and working. When we get to your property, all blinds and window treatments should be up or drapes should be pulled back. Uh, it is not the photographer or my responsibility to move your blinds in the proper position. And the reason why I say that is I can't tell you how many times we get to a property and the homeowner splits and says, oh, sorry, I didn't put up the window treatments like you told me to. And then we go do it because we're nice. And they come back whining and complaining because we broke their blinds. So they're probably in a downward position because they're probably never used. <laughs> And, you know, they, yeah, they break. And so we don't want to be the ones blamed for, you know, pulling up your blinds. I mean, we can make some adjustments, but that is your responsibility as a homeowner. Number one, turn all the lights. Number two, you know, pull back all the window treatments. Something important to note is that when the photographer shows up to your property, they aren't moving anything. So they're not gonna move your love seat into the other room. They're not going to knock on your neighbor's door to get them to remove their cars off the street. They're not gonna remind you probably to remove your car off the driveway. These are things that you should do before the photographer gets to the property. So you wanna remove your cars off the driveway. If you have neighbors that are parking their cars on the street, your house is always gonna shine better when there's not cars or vehicles cluttering you know, the curb appeal, we take those pictures. I always get there early for my clients. I knock on doors, get people to move their vehicles. And I usually give them a little bit of notice, like, hey, we're gonna take the property photo shoot on this day. Would you mind moving your car? Or would you mind me knocking on your door and giving you a helpful reminder that those cars need to be moved off the street. But please remember that your photographer's job is to take the images, not help you get your house in, in order. When your photographer shows up, you should have all ceiling fan remotes and all TV remotes, you know, available and, you know, plain sight. Now they need to work. So the remotes need to work for the ceiling fan because when they take pictures, they like the ceiling fan off, not operational. And when they take those videos, we like to have the ceiling fan moving. So all remotes need to work. And that fireplace key, we also use that, make sure that's in plain sight. If you do not have any of these things working or you don't have a fireplace key, I would recommend purchasing it because it will make a difference when we take those photos and videos. Before we even get to the property, we want all flags down off the property. So whether it be an American flag, a Ukraine flag, a USC flag, a UCLA, whatever flag, we take all flags down. And the reason why is because they're hard to, to take the image because you know they're all flapping around or they're down, they look weird. And we don't want it to have any political statements or affiliation statements. We need to take those down. We also have those security signs that people put in their front saying, hey, we're protected by ABC security system. And they're usually in a brighter color. We wanna take those down as well. You can always put them back up. I don't mind if you wanna put your flags or your security sign back up if you wanna show the property, but we're talking about taking those photos. So we need to take those away. They're kind of distracting. The front of your house should be nice and tidy. So I say brown mulch everything. There is this red mulch out there that I just can't stand. It doesn't photograph well. 
We want brown mulch. If there's any dead or dying plants, we need to remove those off the property. It's better to have no plants and brown mulch than lots of plants that are dying and look messy. Uh, they just don't photograph well. So take out the bad plants, put in new ones, mulch everything, pull the weeds, make sure the lawn is mowed. When we open that front door, I don't wanna see shoes anywhere. They just don't photograph well, it's cluttery. Um, probably the things that you're using every day probably needs to be you know, put away. So paper towels or napkins or toothbrushes or Kleenex, <laughs> I don't know what it is with Kleenex. But anyway, we need to take those personal items and have them removed. All photos should be removed off the property. Those are human photos. And the reason why I say that is because we're trying to protect you a little bit. When we shoot your property, there's a lot of privacy that you are now, you don't have anymore, right? And if you have kids that have their names above their bed in those cute little letters, we're gonna take those down. We don't want any weirdos calling you and asking about your kid's name. I mean, I know that sounds a little nuts, but you know, we're trying to protect your privacy as well. So all photos, names of people's last names that are displayed throughout the property need to be removed for your safety and security. A common mistake I see in photography today is that the things that are on the property need to be showcased. You, you're trying to tell a story. So I see a lot oftentimes these outdoor umbrellas are in a down position and it looks awful. Like, you know, we were trying to create a story, a narrative, and we were trying to, you know, really get the, the potential buyer to just visualize himself there. And having a downward umbrella to me is just not very inviting. It's like, what, why is the umbrella not? <laughs> and once again, those photographers aren't gonna do that. Like they just show up, they just take pictures of what's there. So I say, put all your umbrellas up, you know, let your photographer work about the angles and the views. That's what their job is, is to get the best images and they can work with the umbrellas being up. And of course, we're gonna make sure those umbrellas are somewhat clean. They can photo shoot some of the, the smudges and some of the stains out of the umbrella material. But nonetheless, we keep, keep our umbrellas up. And the other thing we're gonna do is those barbecue um, areas. So they oftentimes will put a cover on the barbecue area. No, 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 everything needs to have a purpose and a story behind it. You want somebody visualize going out in that backyard and barbecuing. If you have a cover on it, it doesn't look as nice, right? So we're gonna take that cover off. We're gonna polish that barbecue and make it look shiny for the photos. All hoses on the property should be nicely spun up or put away or tidied up. We don't want hoses all over the place. It doesn't photograph well and it can potentially act as a trip hazard anyway. So wind up your hoses. Let's talk children and pets. So we don't want any toys out. We don't want dog toys out. All kid stuff should be removed. Oftentimes they have these play areas with all this stuff that's disorganized. Try to find boxes, box it up. Most kids toys and dog toys are bright colors. And once again, that is distracting in the photo shoot. We're gonna pick up all dog leashes and dog bowls and dog poop. I'm a professional dog poop picker upper because somehow that's just uh, an oversight that a lot of these homeowners seem to have. But dog poop is not a great selling feature and it also grosses a lot of people out. <laughs> so we are going to remove all toys and since we're in the backyard, if you do have a pool, all that pool equipment should be tidied, you know, stored somewhere where we don't get to see it when we're taking those photos. Everything is clean as if no one lives there. Now my clients and I argue about this a lot, but I'm just gonna say it anyway, and that is the kitchen needs to be clean and free of clear of all Instapots, toaster ovens, microwaves that are portable, um, air fryers. Um, I know people really like putting those dish towels with uh, the chicken emblem or some emblem on it. No, we take all dish towels away. And I don't know what it is, but there's that paper towel holder that everybody loves to leave out there. No, no, no. We put that under the sink or in a cabinet. It doesn't photograph well. We're trying to sell your house and some of the materials in your house. And we have all the stuff we're looking at at the picture. It makes the rooms look smaller and it also kind of distracts us when we're looking. Like, which, which, what am I supposed to be looking at? We want nice clean photos, all personal stuff off the counters, no decorative things if possible. And if you are gonna put a few decorative things, you can watch my video down below on how to stage your house for the photo shoot or for you know selling your house, you know, do things in threes. We don't do a ton of stuff, okay? As you can tell in the background, I love a ton of stuff, but if I was selling my house and taking a photo, all that stuff would go or the majority of it. In the kitchen, I'm also gonna recommend that we take down all the coffee makers and some homeowners have these knife sets that sit on the counter and I, I have it sitting on my counter right now, but if I were to photograph my property, 
I would take my knife set down and my coffee maker and all the other appliances on the cabinets. And by the way, you have to remove the, the, the dishes out of the sink. I, I can't tell you how many times I show up at a property and the dishes are in the sink and the homeowner just forgets about it or is like, oh, they're not gonna see it. Uh, yes, we do see it and it does need to be removed. So stick it in the dishwasher, stick it in a cabinet, throw it away, I don't care, but we need to have all sinks, all areas of your house clean. <laughs> no debris in the sinks. Let's talk bathrooms. We should have no personal items in the bathroom. So when we go into that shower, it should just be nothing in there. There's no squeegees, there's no shampoo and conditioners, there's no scrubbies. They all get removed for the photo shoot. Now, if you wanna put those back for showing, that's up to you, but for the photo shoot, removed. We don't want your, your viewer to wonder what kind of shampoo. It's just distracting. And when you're looking at those countertops, we don't have toothbrushes and Q-tips and Kleenex holders. I know there's some decorative ones, but honestly, when I'm taking a photo shoot, I remove all those, stick them under the sink because I just know it photographs well and where they're trying to sell your potential buyer on the finishes and the openness of your property. And this, in my opinion, is one of the ways to do it best. Bathroom scales should also be removed from all rooms or hidden in those bathrooms. We want all the towels to match, preferably white or some neutral color. I like white, but primary colors, no. I mean, you just don't recommend that. You're, when you take the image, your mind automatically is drawn to those brighter colors and kind of is distracting. In the bedrooms, we want the beds made, okay? And if we don't have duvet covers on the duvets, we need to put duvet covers or a coverlet or something. It doesn't photograph just having a duvet without a cover on it, okay? People oftentimes have these alarm clocks that sit on the nightstands. Those also need to be removed. Any personal items on any of the surfaces needs to be removed. The common areas, we wanna make sure we remove all personal items if possible. We wanna remove those Kleenex boxes. I don't know why everybody has Kleenex boxes throughout their house. You know, we're not trying to say, hey, this room's perfect for blowing our nose. So everything in that area should serve a purpose. Remove those Kleenex boxes. Uh, I, I oftentimes will walk into a common area like a living room and there's blankets all disheveled. So we either wanna put those in a proper place, fold them properly or remove them from that area. It needs to be nice, clean, and tidy. All the floors throughout the entire house should be perfect. So if you have carpeted areas, they need to be vacuumed. If you have hardwood floors or hard surfaces, you should have those mopped. The floors should sparkle. We're going to dust. So we're gonna dust our ceiling fans. We have some lampshades that might be a little dusty. We also might have some cabinets or dressers that we don't use that often. We need to dust that too, because when we do take those images, that will show up. Um, we're also going to wash our windows. So I'm always gonna recommend washing your windows for the photo shoot. And also when you have visitors come to view the house, your house just looks all that more, I'll just say polished and, and clean. So when you're shooting a property shoot, I'm telling you, the clutter in the property is the enemy. So you wanna take down as much as you can, especially at those personal items. I know I've said that about a hundred times in this video. I will link a few videos down below as far as staging tips and how to prepare your house for sale, which I go into a little bit more detail, but clutter is your enemy. So when in doubt, take it out. We're gonna to try to minimize as many cords in the photo shoot. So if you can hide some cords for your lamps, I see a lot of phone chargers that are plugged in throughout the house. We need to take those down as well. So probably the most important thing or one of the most important thing is that you as a homeowner and your pets <laughs> should leave the property, like go away, let us do our job. Um, we usually have two or three different teams working on the property when you're there working or if your dog's out in the garage or wandering around, it it's just takes way too long. It's it's just not a productive use of anybody's time when you're there with your pets. Um, also, I had some homeowners tell me, oh, Otter, my pets are fine. Don't worry about it. They'll work around you. I'm just telling you from experience that when you're not there, your pets act weird. <laughs> Lots of stories about that. Um, but let's try to have your pets removed from the photo shoot um, on the premises or secured in an area where they don't interfere with the process please. You too. If it's a holiday, we want to take down all holiday decorations. Now I love it, but we don't do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, clutter is the enemy. So oftentimes those decorations can become a bit cluttery, if you know what I'm saying. The second thing too, is it dates your property a little bit. So let's say you put some Valentine's decorations up and we're taking Valentine's pictures 
and now it's Christmas time. They'll know that your house was on the market for a long time. And also, you know, just we need to make the property as neutral as possible because we know it will appeal to more people. And once again, with those decorations, it can make the property look a little smaller than it actually is. I know this is a lot of work, but you have to realize 98% of every single one of your buyers who is looking at properties is looking online. So your photos need to shine. So don't skimp on your photos. Do not skimp on the preparation. It is vital in today's market. In the old day, we just got in the, the car with the lady with the purple hair and the car cataracts and she drove us around to go look at properties. That's the old days. Everybody's looking online first before they even make an appointment to see your property. So this is a lot of work. It's a lot of heavy lifting, but I promise you it will pay off if you do it properly. I have done a few other videos, once again, with staging and how to prepare your house for sale, which I'll link down below. I also did a video on how to prepare for a home inspection. How how to avoid a bad one. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe to that channel if you got any benefit out of this video. I uh, really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.